We are back with the Lo-Fi 12 XT and the sample track, my tried and true favorite from Sonic, where in this time it's taken me a long time to make this video, but I'm so excited because I actually am, I've been able to wrap my head around it a little bit more and finally figure out how to use the Lo-Fi 12 XT. Before, there was a lot of speculation on how some of these features from the Lo-Fi 12 XT could be implemented into the sample track, and I'm still back on that train. I've seen a lot more things that I realize that the Sonicware or the sample track does better than the Lo-Fi 12 XT, and vice versa. The Lo-Fi 12 XT does a lot better. But I'm just going to go ahead and jump you off with the first menus. Like for one, they're laid out very similar. Obviously, we see the si the sample track layout, the four box, the regular box. It's a very easy format to fit next to each other. They slide into my cases pretty easy. I can travel with them pretty easy. They're about the same size as my mixer, and they've got just enough ports or inputs and outputs to where I can get everything in. I've tried using the sync. I might show that later in another video. It works pretty decently if you're going to start by making music off of both of them or uh, originally. But if you do similar to the style I'm going to show you to where you do one song on one and then one song on the other, kind of like a DJ, it's a lot easier just to do them without a sync. So in this specific song, I actually just got back from Playthink. I don't even know if anybody cares, it's, but it's in Kentucky. It's a family-friendly, sober festival, no substances. It was a great time, and I actually got to use this Lo-Fi 12 XT on stage with the sample track in this simple setup, and I used my Melodica 2 to do the whole thing, and that was probably one of the most fun parts about it is was just plugging in the equipment and just doing something simple. So I'll go ahead and show you the workflow that I do for the live sets to make it easier on myself, and uh, I'm just going to start with the Lo-Fi 12. So, let's go turn the volume down a little bit just for the sake of example. Okay. So, with the, the biggest thing that I really liked with this Lo Fi 12 XT. And it's something that I've always wanted with the sample track is this pattern mode. If you see it, if I'm gonna see if I can try to zoom in a little bit better with my uh, in post, but if you click this pattern button, it opens up a different sequence that you can go through through each each of the different eight tracks. So you've got eight tracks as opposed to sixty or ten tracks, like with the sample track. And what you can do is with each of these eight tracks, it seems kind of limiting. And after you play around with it a little bit, you can unlock it a little bit. But what I've done here is created a simple loop in this intro pattern. And I'm going to switch to pattern two. And if you see up here, it's switching. It's jumping back, getting ready to prep to do it on the next cycle. And you see how easy that was to trigger the next one? It's very similar to how you would do it on the sample track when you're going from each scene. But with these, the patterns are laid out to where it's just like a single project. And this is, you're limited to pretty much only the samples that you have loaded within that specific uh, cell. Like this one here, this loop is limited to just here. And it's limited. You could only work within this second track I'm sorry, sex, second section here. You're only limited to the drums, the instruments, and everything you can use here. But with the pattern, I mean the Lo-Fi 12 XT, you can create so many different combinations of samples, different patterns, different parameters, and everything that you can program together. It's I'm not really sure why they didn't design the sample track like this. But I can see, I guess if you're going from a sales perspective and you just want to design a whole new system, might as well go that way. I've never got to play with the regular Lo-Fi 12, but from what I understand, it, that's what this Lo-Fi 12 XT is based on. But um, I'm gonna, I guess I'll give you a nice little example of how I transition between these songs. So you could go straight 
from the lo-fi 12 xt and just make it a, a nice little easy uh like mangle it with just the pre-boarded samples but since i've got a mixer here i like to go ahead and just stretch it out there Mute some things out, get nice and dubby. Now that we got that pretty limited down, still got a few jump in there. so fun working with these two pieces of equipment like this is what I've been waiting for to do but you couldn't do it with one of them I thought about getting just a single sample track and doing this style like that but it's almost you could do it with two sample tracks it just would get a little bit boring but since the styles between these two are made so differently with the user interface and the the operating system that they have in them it just makes the the workflow so much more fun to work with it's definitely it would be easier just to use two sample tracks and just to go back and forth but i like a little challenge when i'm up there i don't want it to be so easy i want it to, to be just as much fun in the studio as it is on stage and this is currently what my studio state my studio setup looks like i've got a few more instruments along the wall there but pretty much i can plug anything in here and go just let that one ride a little bit because it's a very sweet song. Like, it's an easy way to transition back and forth. I get carried away in here all day if I just sit here and go back and forth. But that's pretty much what I was trying to show you, is that you can jump back and forth between both of these pretty seamlessly. 